Hey Tubes, here's something different. Uh, me and Mike uh, picked up this engine. Daddy Dirt Bike uh, gave it to us. Because mm -hmm. we have plans for this. We're going to build a, I don't know if uh, some of you might know what it is. It's a Tom Thumb mini bike. Maybe I'll go, I go. I gotta get the popular mechanics drawings yeah, of it. Show them the uh, picture there. Yeah. But this is all original and it's in good shape. This is actually you know, a production engine. This is. A utility engine. This is a two-stroke engine. Put your hand on that, Mike. Show them how small the thing is. Look. Yeah. It's it's actually just the size of Mike's hand. Yeah, look at that. The only thing the only thing real size is that spark plug. Right. But anyway, <laughs> we're gonna make a, a Tom Thumb engine. It's supposed to go about 11, 12 mile an hour, but uh, we think it'll be fun. Mike's taking it apart. He's gonna get it running. Right. But meanwhile, I'm gonna go get the. We didn't plan on making a video, but we started taking this thing apart, and I said this will make an interesting video. That's pretty interesting. It is. Let's see. It's got spark. Show me spark, Mike. See that? I'm trying to hold it and pull it, right? Yeah, look at that. So it's got spark, but they show them the bearing too, Mike. Uh, yeah, the, the tail end bearing. Yeah, see we're going to have to do something. See how one that is? Yeah. That'll that's, never, that's, that's it'll never of, seal, it'll never run. Yeah, that's one of the reasons it doesn't run. But uh, let me go get the, the popular mechanic plans. And uh, you'll see what we have planned for this thing. One horsepower, they call it. Is it one horsepower? That, that's what they call it. Yeah. I, I don't. I can't say it. Right? Look how tiny that cylinder is. Yeah. But then look at a Maytag. A Maytag is five eighths, right? But then it's a twin. Yeah. yeah. Huh? I mean, that's probably I probably the RPM this thing. That is. is. It probably, probably screams. screams yeah. yeah. All right. Let me go get. The, let me go get the plans. All right. All right, tubes. This is a 1970 Popular Mechanics. Magazine, June, January 1970. Here's the cover, and here's the article in here. I'll try. And... It says here, build this Tom Thumb mini bike, and you see this big guy on this tiny little thing. And here's another picture of it. There's one sticking it in a Volkswagen trunk. But here are the plans to it, and uh, here's the engine right here. What is that bike? Uh, a what? Olsen and Rice. Olsen and Rice. Hold the hold the housing up. Yeah. You see the the pull start? That's that's actually the pull start. They pull that for Mike. The little ball. <laughs> that's crazy. But uh, that's what we're gonna do. Mike's got this thing half torn apart already. He says it surprised me. He says he's never taken one of these apart. No. Nope. He always wanted one when he was a kid. But then it wasn't that long ago he was a kid, so <laughs> it's uh, pretty interesting. All right, let's uh, let's take it apart a little further. Maybe we'll start it. Like I said, we might uh, we might not be able to because that bearing is pretty bad. But at least we'll see. I don't think you can buy parts for these. At least we'll get it all apart. We'll show you how it uh, how it all goes together. Yeah. Can you see the points? Are they behind the flywheel? Yeah, they're behind the flywheel. Look at the condenser. The condenser is almost the size of the, the piston. Yeah. Oh hey, yeah. Jeez. Huh. All right. All right, Mike, you ready to take it off? Yep. I already just, uh, just knocked it, it off. Yeah. That's a cute little thing. It's like it's smaller than a chainsaw engine. Huh. It's crazy. Let's get a better look at it. It's funny, this engine was sitting on the ground there, and I knew Mike wasn't going to let it sit there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Even cool. That's, that's a tiny little cool. You ever seen it like that? Maybe a chainsaw or something? Yeah, a chainsaw, but jeez, that's huh. really small. It's like points of here, probably. Mike was saying that he thinks it might have a, a split crank or something because... Yeah, yeah, it, you know, I can feel this is loose and ro partially rotating, but this is not. This is... I don't feel the vibration through right, here. Right, right. So, huh. it's interesting. Interesting. Oh, I'm curious to see what's inside there. Yeah, me too. Okay. Let's see, these are pretty tight. Yeah. Let me get a better screwdriver. Yeah, yeah, that's not the best. Alright, we'll show you guys the... Uh, when we break the case open. O and R. What was it, Mike? Olsen and Rice. Olsen and Rice. Yeah. I'm gonna have to remember that. Yeah. Actually, lot they call them O and R engines. Right. It's the. There's. A, I think there's a, there was a, a decal right here that said O and R. You can kind of see where the remains were. Yeah. That's pretty cool. This is all original paint and original sticker there. Okay. Let's continue on. All right, Mike, unscrew that. A little uh, plate there is stuck. Oh, I see it. It's popping it off. 
I guess the points are behind there, Mike. I see them, yeah. Huh. What's your stuff on there? What the hell? What's going on here? Some kind of trick. Probably somebody probably glued it. Probably, probably. Oh, there, oh, it, there it is. Yeah, huh. There you go. Wow. The points look like they're in good shape. I don't think you'd ever find another set like it, but. Yeah. I guess they are good, right? We had a spark. Yeah, they're fine, yeah. They did. Yeah, they work, so. Yeah. We're just taking it apart. That's part of the process. Interesting. Huh. All right. What's next, Mike? What's next? I'm gonna pull this uh, front plate the off. The plate off. Huh. Yeah. I like the way that plate is. It kind of has a contour to it. All right. All right. Let's continue. All right, ready? All right Mike. You taking that plate off? Yep. Huh. Dust what is cap. that? That's a little dust cap and a seal. Huh. Looks like a little bearing right here. I'm gonna say good luck trying to find that. Wow. I think that's a that's a roller bearing right there. Wow. Very interesting. Well, there's the mag plate. That's pretty cool. Let's see the back of that. Yeah, it is interesting. Wow. It looks structurally strong. <laughs> the way they have a... They might have designed it for, yeah. for some reason. Crazy. Because that, that could just been a flat piece. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> every, yes. movie, every movie you make hides the thing because it's so small. Yeah. <laughs> you scratch your ass so I can't see the engine. Get that piece of line off of there. Look at look. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I know. Just taking off his hand, just is. covered the whole thing. That's, that's a cute little engine. Boy, is that small. That is. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> All right. Look, look at that. that. What, what, what are we looking at? Um, oh. I'm about to pull out that roller bearing. Oh, a needle bearing? Yeah. That's like rollers. Really? Yeah. Pull that. I'll see. Oh, you may the, drop everything. Well, they're all going to come out when I do it. Oh, no. See, see all them little rollers? Oh, yeah. Pretty neat. That's like in between a roller and a needle. Dump them out. And a needle. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let me. There he goes. I can't see. I can't make a video. There it is. All right. That is tiny. That's crazy. You don't lose them. Look we'll that. never find them, Mike. Let me see. Look at them little bearings. Wow. Pretty neat, though. Little they are neat. Roller bearings. I guess if you had to, you might be able to find a, a regular bearing. To put yeah. In. Some kind of sealed bearing. Yeah, something. We'll see. All right. That's pretty cool. Ready. All right, we'll get back to you when we uh, come across something interesting. It's a little like, baggy you put this like in. We get the crank out. All right. Here you go. Here's something interesting. Mike has gloves on. I've never seen gloves on. No, not that. I'm talking about the cylinder. It's it's actually screwed on. Right. I believe it's threaded right onto the crankcase. Go ahead, Mike. So, we're going to see if I can just grab it and break it off. Yeah, he got the gloves on because they're rubber in there. Yeah, it'll help grip them fins. Yeah. Looks like you should have be able to have a tool, but yeah. we don't have that. The old slam race tool. There you go. Huh. I thought you had more trouble. How about that too? You ever see something like that? Huh, look at that. It's right, it's right, right on there. Wow. Pretty neat. It is. A lot of porting uh, there going on there. Two stroke, two stroke. It's pretty. That's wild and crazy. It's a pretty nice looking two stroke. Hmm. I thought the piston would be smaller, but that piston is actually not much smaller than a Maytag. No. Yeah. I'm surprised it don't have a shape to it either. You know? Yeah, the uh. It's, it's only got a flat head. Right. Interesting. Well, you know what? It looks like it's got three intake ports and one exhaust. So the exhaust is on the one side. Or maybe not. Tilt no, you know what? Oh, look at, look at this, Tilt right? It. It's got four in four Tilt exhaust ports. You can't see it? Oh, you can't see it. No. There you go. Tilt it back to you. Okay. Four you exhaust go. ports. One, two, three, four. And then these conical shapes right here are the intakes. It's not actually a port. It's just a slit in the cylinder. And when the piston gets down, it uncovers it. It's pretty neat. Huh. Well, yeah, that's why they don't need that. Because you know, the idea is that a charge comes in from all the angles. That's pretty slick. Does that the is that the exhaust in your hand there? This here is, yeah. Yeah. Is that is that attached to that or is that spin? Uh it looks like it probably that would have been, that would probably, made it probably easier. spin where, wherever oh. you wanted it. Oh. You know, what when you loosen it up, it's probably stuck on there now, but you could ride it wherever you want it, looks oh. like. Pretty neat. Pretty cool. I guess it's gotta be at one of the ports though, right? Well no, no, huh? because see how the tube wraps around there? Oh, oh and it's yeah. got four exhaust ports, so yeah, really so it don't matter, yeah, it'll be anywhere. It's right. pretty neat. That is. That's that's pretty uh, unique. All right. That's wild stuff there, huh, tubes? All right, let me get these gloves off. Yeah, yeah Mike hates gloves. All right. All right. Let's, uh, we're going we're gonna to look into this a little further. I'm curious to see what's going on with that crank. Yeah, everything, everything's pretty worn in here, it looks Yeah, look like. at that. Wow. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You can see where the two pieces are right there. You see the crank pin right there? Yeah, just barely. See? Oh, yeah. 
Very interesting. Very interesting. Right. Yeah, it is a new experience for both me and Mike. So, you guys can tell us all you guys out there that rebuilt these. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a bunch of these. All right. All right, tubes. Mike has this completely tore down. He actually got the block in his hand. Right. Yep. That's crankcase right there. Yeah. Pretty neat. This thing is actually a pretty well built engine. Yeah, as we're looking over it, really every bearing on it is a needle bearing, or right. a roller bearing. Right. You can see there's two uh, roller bearings on the uh, the flywheel side shaft, one up here and one in the center here. These are the rollers from that. Um, you can see that the crankshaft slips through there, like that. Yeah, two piece crank. Yeah, exactly, two piece crank. Another thing to mention about it. Another interesting point the, uh, the, uh, Connecting rod, lower end there. Again, show me how skinny it is. It's uh, yeah, crazy. Oh, I zoomed in too fast. What's that got to be? A three six? Not even three sixteen. No, no, it's got to be an eighth. Oh, eighth of an inch. More, yeah. yeah. Wow. Let's see. Let's see. Even even the, the wrist pin in there. It's a sixteenth of an inch. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, in the wrist pin. The wrist pin's on rollers. The wrist pin got rolled around or needle bearings down there. Yeah, so there's no no bushings. Everything everything is bearings. Yeah, but I don't know if we're going to be able to put it back together because everything is just. Uh, Unfortunately, it probably had a really lean mixture all yeah. its life. The, the the cylinder's not too bad, but the bearings just didn't get the lubrication they needed. Yeah, okay. over towing, you can see that. There's there's probably two. Well, there's probably one bearing in this end. Yeah, back down here, but you can see that. Yeah, I mean, well, that's really yeah. Uh, you see, when you get to this point. And, and plus, the, the seals are all dried out, and being a two-stroke, you have to have this crankcase sealed up. Right. So, you know, when you're seeing that much play in a bearing, even if you did get a new seal on it, it wouldn't last very long. Right. You know? But it is interesting. Here's where the crankshaft fits together. It's got a little square end on there, and it just fits right in there. And you can see that's that's even got that, a lot yeah, of slop it's, it's in got it. a lot of slop too. So it's it, it, it's a really worn engine, but it's an interesting. I think we're going to still put it back together, but... Yeah. Uh, we'll try to start it. Yeah. We'll see if we can. Um, interesting thing is going to be making this uh, this gasket here. You can see it's actually yeah. on a taper. You see, there's a piece left of it there. Yeah. Um, where, it, where it sits, where it seats in the block here. So, that's going to be interesting. We might have a, just end up having to put some silicone Seal, in there. Yeah. yeah, some sealant. Huh. But, uh, that's what it's going to be. Yeah. It's a conversation piece. It is. You know, you can, I don't think you can buy parts for these, so. Hmm. Even a carburetor. Show, show them the carburetor. I guess it's actually made by uh, yeah. O&R. Yeah, exactly. It's got a, uh, it got a label, a stamp right there. Olsen. Olsen and Rice right there. But yeah, it's a neat carburetor. It's a little primer button. Got a choke. You know, but throttle butterfly. It's just it's a miniature little carburetor. little diaphragm carburetor. Um, and the engine has got, does have a governor too. Here's the uh, it's an air vane governor. <laughs> it's a governor. There's the uh, it looks the like a little paper board. airplane. Yeah, remember the balsa wood airplanes? Yeah. It looks like a tail. So and that would sit right in there and push on this uh, lever right here. It's pretty wacky. That's it. That's it's just so simple this little engine, but it's it's, it's funny. It's well made at the same time. Right. Oh well. You know, really some interesting construction. It is. So uh, right, right at this point, we, we uh, really don't know what we're going to do, so we'll probably put it back together. We probably won't film that, but uh, if we do, if we get back together in a moment, we'll show you that. It's a job for another day. Yeah, yeah. It's going to sit on the shelf for a little bit because we got other matters yep. sitting on the chair over here, all ready to go. All right. Enough of this, too. See you. See you later.